to our viewers. Thank you for your content support. Today we are going to learn how to add number bases using the abacus. Previously, we learned about converting other bases to base 10. Keep watching. Our number one is one one zero base two plus one zero one base two. Please bring me the abacus. Please, can you bring me the beads? Now you can show now you can show one one zero based on the abacus. We are we are we are using base two. Now you can show one zero one based on the next abacus. Now let us start to to add on this spike. There is nothing. But on the next spike, all next place value, we have one one bead. We can add it to the next to the next abacus. We add it. One is less than two. We are dealing with base two. That's okay. We have one on the next place value. If you add it on the next abacus, it will give us two. But two cannot be used in base two. We are going to put this one aside and we put this one on the next place value, this one. Now we have remained we have remained with nothing on this behind abacus, but on the front abacus we have the answer one zero one one base two. Here is our answer. Our second question is one 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 base two plus one zero one base two. Now, Ayla, you can represent one 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 base two on the abacus. We are dealing with base two. Now you can represent one zero one base two on the abacus on the next abacus. Now let us start adding. On this ba behind abacus, we have one. When we add it on the next front on the next abacus, we will we shall get two. But two cannot be used in base two. This one goes aside. This one goes to the next place value. When we add this one bead on the, on the next abacus, we shall get to this one goes aside. This one comes to the next place value. But when we add this two, we get two. Now two cannot be used in base two. So this goes aside. We bring this one to the next place value. We have remained with one on this behind abacus, but it has to be empty. We put it to the we add it to the next abacus. So the by the behind abacus it's uh, is empty. Now we can get the answer on the front abacus. So the answer is one one zero zero base two. So, here 
here is the answer 1100 base 2. Our third question is 315 base 8 plus 273 base 8. So, this time we are using base 8. Ayla, can you represent 315 base 8 on the behind abacus? Mm. Can you represent 273 base 8 on the front abacus? Now, let's start adding. On this place value, these beads must be added to the next abacus. Now, let us start. On the next abacus, we have three. Let us add three, four, five, six, seven. We have the eighth one, but we are dealing with base eight. So, these ones go to the go aside you have to put this one on the next place value let us count these ones on the next place value one two three four five six seven when you add this one they become eight but still eight cannot be used in base eight you remove these ones you put them aside you go to the next place value we have three three is, three is less than eight so it's okay we come back to the behind abacus here we have one when you add it to the next place value it it can be added it's possible we go to the next spike we have on the front abacus we have three plus four five six now the beh the behind abacus is empty we can get the answer from the front abacus. So let us count one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, zero. So the answer is six, one, zero, base eight. So, this is the answer. 610 base 8. Our fourth number is 3T2 base 12 plus 81 e base 12. Now, T in base 12 represents 10 and E in in base 12 represents 11. So we are dealing with base 12. Ayla, can you represent 3T2 base 12 on the behind abacus? Two. Two. Can you represent eight one e base twelve on the front abacus? Four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Now let's start adding. In the first place value, we have two beads on the behind abacus and eleven on, on the front. So we are going to add to the next to the front abacus. Eleven on the front abacus plus this one, it's it becomes twelve. We are dealing with base twelve. So twelve cannot be used in base twelve. So you put these ones aside, you bring this one to the next place value. Still, still in the first place value, we are remaining with one on the behind abacus. You can bring it to the front abacus. On the next place, in the next place value, we are going to, we are going to add to the front abacus. On the front abacus, we have two plus three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the twelfth one. But we cannot put twelve in in base twelve. So these ones goes as go aside, and this one comes to the next place value. Let us count: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus this one. They become nine. So when we come to the third place value, we have three. We have three on the behind on the behind abacus. Let us add to the next to the front abacus. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus ten, eleven. We have the twelfth one, but we cannot use twelve in base twelve. So this goes as this go aside and put this one to the next place value. The answer now, the answer is one zero zero one base twelve. Here is the answer. One zero zero one best twelve. Thank you for following through. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon to be notified about our new videos. Bye bye.